photographer for four, almost five years now. I actually moved to New York to become a photographer. That was sort of, I felt like that was the heart and pulse of photography was in New York City. So originally I'm from the West Coast, moved out to New York, got my career started there. And then when I felt like I had enough sort of momentum going with my career, I moved back West. A lot of people ask or want to know, especially emerging photographers, is how do you get your own style? I mean, that's the big question. And I know that I faced that too when I was a young photographer. And I found that you don't get your own style. It's not something you just create or a decision that you make. It's something that is honed naturally. And to really have your true own style, you have to let go of looking for it and let it literally emerge. And there's no way of knowing when it will emerge. Some photographers, it could be a year, some could be four years, some could be a lifetime. Well, I oftentimes compare from a wedding to creating a feast, like a chef. And the reason being is that I really wanted clients to understand why the retouching phase is so important. And so I think of it like as a photographer, I am going to the wedding and I am creating, I'm capturing these incredible images, but that's just like a chef going to the market and getting all the fresh, organic, amazing ingredients. Um, and while those things are important and integral to this feast, at the end of the day, the album, the final images, the retouched product is really the meal. And retouching is the same way. I really wish there was a formula. You know, and I could say, I'm gonna do this set of actions and all my images are gonna look fabulous. But what I found is there is no formula. And I, every single image and every single action per se needs to be customized and tweaked. And each image calls for something different. Um, and that's, you know, taking your time and sort of allowing the vision of the image and the story to really come through. The Wacom tablet drastically reduces the time that I'm retouching. So not having to use a mouse and having the control and the fluidity of movements. But I would say more than that is control. And I think for, for me, my goal is always for the image to not look retouched. Every single image is different and every image calls for something different. The lighting change, the angle change, the subject change. So you really have to look at your material and think about what am I gonna to do to make this image sing? How can I make this image powerful? What can the retouching do to bring out the natural brilliance that's already in that image? And there is no blanket recipe for that. I think one of my favorite aspects of, of retouching and sharing the images with the client is that when they see it, they really don't see the retouching. Instead, I'm really working with what the image already has and sort of bringing many elements up a notch. So the image sings and it's beautiful and it's gorgeous and the client looks at it and it's how they want to remember their wedding day. I'd say for me, one of the most important things is that there's a timeless element to my images. And I think as wedding photographers, as professionals, that's our duty. And it's really easy to fall into the trap of what looks cool now. And I really believe as wedding photographers, as professionals, it's our responsibilities to create images that are timeless and do Instagram effects. We could make, you know, really go all out and do these kind of phase trend oriented treatments. So really thinking about the photography in that, what will the client think about when they look back in five years or 10 years? And you really want the image to sing and you don't want it to be dated by the treatments that you're using.